Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hi, and welcome to our very first edition of Let's Talk Time Management. And my name, ladies and gentlemen, is Stuart Andrew Alexander. Now, I was reading a Stanford University article the other day where they mentioned that good time management is the process of organizing and planning time effectively between specific activities. And in another publication designed to help MIT students manage tasks, they spoke of practical considerations to save time. And the New York Times wrote how productivity isn't about time management, it's about attention management. Now, with those three interpretations alone, it can be challenging even for the most experienced of us to grasp a clear understanding of this widely discussed but often misunderstood topic, which is why we've invited an expert to come in and speak in more depth around the issue of managing your time. And who better to discuss that with, but none other than Dr. Deborah Johnson-Blake, the time management diva known as Dr. DJ to all her clients and colleagues. Now, she's a very busy lady, so let's not keep her waiting a moment longer and welcome her to the show. Amazon best-selling author of the 52 Time Management Hacks book, Dr. DJ. Welcome to the show, DJ. Hi, Stuart. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm excited to be here and share a little knowledge about time management. Perfect. And I'm so happy that you're able to take the time out of your busy day. So with that said, we all know that we all have 1,440 minutes a day to work with. However, Stanford, MIT, and the New York Times all refer to time management differently. So when the average layperson looks online, there is so much information to decipher. So that said then, Dr. DJ, and based on your experience as a time management expert, what is time management and why should we even care about it? Interesting question, Stuart. You are absolutely correct. There are many definitions of time management from various sources. But let me tell you this before I get right into the definition. To make it even more intriguing when it comes to time management is that we have 168 hours in a week, right? So imagine what you can do with 168 hours per week. Even though I digress on that, there is a plethora of time management information available to the average layperson, which can be overwhelming, as we know. After conducting much research about time management, it's simple. Time management is the ability to spend time on achievable tasks. So in essence, people are not managing time. They are managing the tasks and the resources in their lives to achieve, achieve their goals. So why should we care about it? Because the better we manage time, hence the resources and the tasks, which the task should be the high priority, the more likely opportunities exist to complete projects and resolve issues in a timely manner. So if people do not deploy time management strategies that work for them, the likelihood of their success in whatever they do is limited. So recent studies have shown that 14% of people who set goals are 10 times more successful than those who don't. So we have to remember that time is one commodity that all people wish they had more of, right? Every day. Mm. But it's not about having more time. It's about what you do with the time you have to complete your high priority task and achieve your goals, which is why it's so important. And thank you for that in-depth um, answer there, Dr. DJ. And on the topic of making the most of your time, it is that time of year when many people find themselves looking towards learning new strategies to help them become a more efficient and effective time and task manager in all facets of their lives. Now, when you hear that then, um, Dr. DJ, as a time management expert yourself, is that a trend? You know, Stuart, I would say yes and no. No, 
I don't believe time management itself is a trend because most people are lifelong learners and are always looking for opportunities and strategies to improve their lives, especially with time. Time management is no different and it's here to stay as a way of life, even though the goal on being more effective time and task managers often starts at the new year. And I don't know if you recall this, but in earlier times, people used the stars and planets movement, the sun's shadow, and the moon setting and rising as a way to measure time to stay on track. However, today, of course, we use calendars, clocks, and other technologies to serve as a scientific way to measure and to measure time itself and become more efficient and time conscious. But on the other hand, the types of strategies people use to enhance time management each year represent the trend. So whatever that trend is for the year. So we're talking about time management. And before we actually get into speaking about time management hacks, what are some of the first steps for someone who, let's say, wants to take control of their time, become more efficient and create a more productive lifestyle? Another good question. One of the first steps to becoming more efficient and productive is to develop new habits and change the old ones. That's what we're all charged with doing to be better time managers. However, to do so, I suggest developing a time management plan, which involves a four-step process to include, you know, developing a time audit, prioritizing your tasks, creating a time schedule, and using a to-do list. And I can speak about those four uh, quickly, if I may. Please go ahead. So so if we look at develop a time audit, right? So Mm -hmm. as you know, planning time can be a little complicated for some of us. While we try to guess how much time an activity takes, many of us do not actually track it. So time tracking solves that problem. To create a time audit, one must manually track and audit their time by writing start, and end times for each daily task. So this type of assessment will help people audit and reveal realistic times of how long it takes to complete tasks. Mm -hmm. Number two, if we look at prioritizing tasks, that's where you will assess your list of tasks and kind of put a star next to everything that's mission critical, time sensitive, and important. Those will be your main priorities, and other tasks on the list can be delegated. And that third step, designing a schedule, once you know how long your tasks will take and your priorities are defined, you can design your schedule. Now, the goal is to avoid overbooking your schedule and making sure that you schedule downtime throughout the day. This helps minimize burnout and increase productivity. Mm -hmm. So if you're like me, I like to use the 550-10 rule to plan for downtime and rest. I spend five minutes planning, 50 minutes working and 10 minutes taking a break and kind of repeat. And this helps me restore my energy so I can continue on with my day. And last, using that infamous to-do list, you know, to manage your task and time. However, you do need to prioritize your to-do list as well. But once you have uh, deployed these four strategies, that's when it's time to create your time management plan. Mm -hmm. So you plan your ideal work week by writing down all the tasks you need to complete and the estimated time it's going to take you to complete them. So just track the time you spend working on your tasks to learn those realistic time requirements and then adjust your weekly plan accordingly. Because as you know, we may estimate, you know, writing up a contract to be 30 minutes, but yet it may take us 60 minutes or 90 minutes. And that way we want to be more realistic when we literally track our time to be more um, efficient and productive. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I have spent some time to go through your book over the last few weeks, and you make it very clear that it's important to always schedule project deadline reminders earlier than anticipated so that one can deliver finished quality products sooner than promised. Now, can you just go ahead and share an example of that with our listeners for us, please, Dr. DJ? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, I like to underpromise and overdeliver. One of the ways I do this is to give myself several reminders. For instance, if I have a project that is due in 30 days, I set my reminders for one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and then I drill down to hours and days, all the while 
while I'm working on that project to ensure that I meet the deadline. However, in a scenario like this, my ultimate goal is to deliver the project in 20 to 25 days. And by doing so, I earn a reputation of dependability and professionalism. Second, I want to explain one of my habits, which is to place all projects on my digital calendar. But more importantly, I love to use my Reminders app on my cell phone to help me be even more efficient. And with the Reminders app, I can add priority levels, subtasks, images, specific dates and times, and deploy the repeat and flag feature. I can even add URLs and project notes. But more importantly, if I'm working on a project with another person, I can add their email so they can get the reminders too. So using this hack is essential to my success. So Dr. DJ, when I shared um, the information with my subscribers that you were going to be on the show today and that the topic was time management, and I also shared the title of your book, 52 Time Management Hacks, People ask me questions about the subtitle, which is Helpful Actions to Conquer and Kick Time Setbacks. Now, in your own words, what does that actually mean to conquer and kick time setbacks? People want to know. Hmm. Well, studies show that up to 80% of an average workday is spent on tasks with little or no value, which equates to people spending 20% of their day working on important tasks. So simply put, to conquer and kick time setbacks means to plan, implement, and assess time management strategies to avoid being behind the eight ball, so to speak, and be ready for the week. Okay, so I know we talked a little bit about the topics covered within your book, but what was it that actually led you to write it? And once someone reads and completes the daily exercises within your book, what is it that you would like them to come away with then, Dr. DJ? Interesting. You know, I wrote this book um, and all my time management books because of a mistake I made in my early career. When I was in the legal field as a paralegal, I failed to file a personal injury legal complaint with the courts. Um, And at that time, there was a two year statute of limitations. This bothered me for years. So eventually I earned my master of public Uh, public administration and a doctor of management and presented my thesis and defended my dissertation on the impact time management has on organizational success and leadership, which also applies to individuals. So once people read my book, I want them to experience an opportunity to improve their efficiency and create a more productive lifestyle. The time is just going so fast and it's just ironic that the topic is time management and I have to keep an eye on the time. So with that said then, Dr. GJ, how can we find out more about you and the yeah, your book, 52 Time Management Hacks? Where can people get more information? Well, they can learn more about me at DeborahJohnsonBlake.com, as well as order my book from my website or Amazon. I would love it if your listeners would follow me on social media at D. Johnson Blake. Uh, specifically, follow me every Tuesday to learn quick tips, tricks, and hacks to be more time efficient. Well, thank you for that. We are unfortunately out of time. You've shared some really helpful tips with us today. So on behalf of my listeners, I'd just like to say thank you for that. But before you do leave us and fly away on another time management saving mission, (laughs) are there any other insights that you'd like to share with us today, Dr. DJ? First of all, I want to say you are welcome. Um, I'm happy to be here. And what I want to share is in addition to the 52 Time Management Hack book, I recently published a journal slash planner entitled Being the Best You, Intentional Journaling and Planning to Take Back Your Time, which is available on my website and Amazon.com as well. But these brands fall up under my company, The Writing Pad, where our main services include redesigning bios and resumes and training and developing and consulting. But last, I do have some wonderful news. I was selected as the American Businesswoman of the Year for the American Business Women's Association, which is a national recognition that I am proud and honored to have received. And I just want to thank you. You're so welcome. And you got your name and your face on the billboard. I saw that. You're really famous <laughs> in, in your hometown. Yes. That was a great billboard picture. Wow. 
How does it actually feel Thank walking you. down the street and seeing your face on a billboard? It was so real, I tell you. And then when you have your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues in the community, you know, call you up, protect you, or when they see you, they say, Bobby DJ, even your doctor, I saw you on the billboard. And I was like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's amazing. That's I amazing. Love it. But that's just testament to all the hard work you've been putting out there. You don't end up on a billboard for nothing. So it's just a reflection of everything that you've been doing for your community and the people that you help. So congratulations for that, Dr. DJ. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And I'd just like to thank you also for spending some of your valuable time with us today. It was great talking to you. And we hope to have you back on the show sometime if you, if you do happen to find some time and your busy schedule anytime okay you're so welcome (laughs) you're so welcome so folks that is about it uh, for today we're just kind of getting warmed up when it's time to go but i cannot go over schedule because i'm here with the time management diva and i do not want to get a telling off from the time management diva for going over time so um with that said i'm going to (laughs) i'm going to end things right here don't forget if you do want to improve your time management be more efficient and live a more stress-free life then you really need to check out dr deborah johnson blake the time management divas book it's called 52 time management hacks helpful actions to conquer and kick time setbacks and it's available on amazon and in other leading bookstores nationwide we'll also have a link to the book in the show notes somewhere on this page so until then this has been Stuart Andrew Alexander with my very special guest, Dr. DJ, saying thank you, take care, and we'll talk real soon. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.